there is a massive problem with traveling back to the Philippines. Ah, the time has finally come. It is time to head back to the Philippines. Welcome to a brand new vlog. Welcome to a traveling vlog starting here at Osaka. I believe it's Kansai Airport. Osaka Kansi Airport. <laughs> um, we're about to check in for our flight with Philippine Airlines to take us back to Manila. It is a beautiful last day here in Osaka. It has been quite hot this week. Really, really hot and exhausting. So it's going to be good to get back to Manila. And it's going to be good to have a little bit of a rest. Kato, how was your Japan trip? Two kilos. <laughs> two ki <laughs> it was two kilos good. <laughs> now we have one big challenge. How to lose all of it? Uh, no, how to check in oh, all our luggage. Are we going to be over or are we not? Uh, I think they don't trust our judgment. Uh, they might be taking the elevator. Yeah, we've all been doing a lot of shopping and have a lot more luggage than what we came with. Or I should rather say a lot more weight than what we came with because I came with the same amount of luggage, but I did do quite a lot of shopping uh, here in Japan. So the luggage is quite a bit heavier than it was when we left Manila. And I feel like it's for everybody the same thing, especially because a lot of the stuff is for the matcha shop, which will be opening very soon in Manila. So yeah. I've passed security already and this airport is very very quiet most of the stores as you can see are still closed due to the pandemic so um, yeah if you want food and you're traveling through Osaka you should get it before coming to the airport ideally something that you're allowed to transport through um, security so no like soups or fluids but um, yeah actually hard meals hard meals that sounds weird <laughs> so we're all checked in we passed security passed immigration super fast super easy and now it's just a few minutes before boarding so i'm just taking a look around this terminal <laughs> How did you enjoy your Japan trip? Oh, um, it was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's their turn. <laughs> what, was your, what was your favorite part of the trip? Uh, I think it was Kyoto. Kyoto? Yeah, because I haven't been to the Gion district. Uh -huh. So it was my first time. I really like it. Oh, very but nice. Yeah. And when are you going back to Japan? Uh, October. <laughs> October, nice. You looking forward to that again? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Very excited. <laughs> Carol, how about you? What about me? Yeah, what was your what favorite was my part? Favorite part? I think my favorite part was Shiva steak. What's the what? Shiva steak. Oh, the Shiva steak. Yeah, that, that was, was very, so very good. cool. Like the meat was so tender and the chef was really good. Yeah. So, Gato, how about you? Same, Shiva steak. Shiva steak? Yeah. Nice. Same. <laughs> <laughs>
all right, reflecting on this trip and reflecting on, on my week in uh, in Japan and traveling to Japan and then traveling back to the Philippines, I realized that there is a massive problem with traveling back to the Philippines after this pandemic. And the big issue is that tourists don't seem to know yet how easy it actually is to travel to the Philippines right now. Um, coming back from Japan, the whole process of uh, landing, going through the One Health Pass and the COVID restriction checkpoints and then immigration in total took maybe five minutes at the most. In most countries I've traveled to in the past, which has been, you know, Japan, uh, Indonesia, and it's also the Philippines. It, in all of the other countries, it seemed to be more complicated to get back into that country, or get into that country. And the Philippines seemed to be super, super easy. And I just wanted to use this um, this vlog here to mention just how easy it actually is and what you do need if you want to travel to the Philippines right now and you are vaccinated and you have your booster shot you do not need any PCR test any antigen test any tests whatsoever all you need to do is you need to uh, register on the One Health Pass website and that is it bring your documents to the document check you upload your vaccination certificates that is it there's nothing else um, if you don't have a booster shot, if you're just fully vaccinated, if you don't have a booster shot, all you need to do is an antigen test 24 hours before your flight to the Philippines. So still super simple and super straightforward. And I think a lot more people should be taking advantage of this fact right now because tourism in the Philippines is bound to pick up again. And right now you can explore so many great places in the Philippines without it being overcrowded, without being too many tourists right now. Um, so yeah, if you are planning a trip uh, somewhere to go on vacation somewhere in Southeast Asia Philippines should be number one on your list right now um, I had a fantastic week in Japan I learned a lot we got a lot of work done we made a lot of progress in planning uh, the Moore's coffee shop here in the Philippines and after visiting many many locations I realized that the blend that we do have using local Philippine beans in that blend is just an amazing idea and it's gonna make our coffee stand out from the rest. I'm really so excited to get this project. Um, I wouldn't say started, it is started already, but it's kind of like to complete this project to get the first location opened up for you guys. I'm, I'm so, so excited. That is it uh, for today. I actually did film a few more vlogs in Japan, but I feel like I want to sprinkle them in, in between over the next few weeks when they fit in topically. I just wanted to uh, bring this Japan travel series to completion because there's a lot of exciting things happening in the Philippines now that I want to share with not too much delay and we have actually a very important announcement on the vlog tomorrow so definitely turn on the notifications hit that subscribe button right now and with that being said we'll see you guys tomorrow same time same place remember to stay awesome be positive and make it happen bye bye